Hello everyone, now today's question is, if i of n is given as integration 0 to pi by 4, tan of x whole is to power n, where n is varying from 0, 1, 2, 3, n till n, you can see it's a whole number, or s of n dia, summation n is equal to 0 to n, i of n, i of n plus 1 and so on, further indexes are given. So we have to find the value of this limit, n is tending towards infinity, 100 times s of n. So first of all, we are not going to integrate uh, i of n. First of all, we know we're going to solve this. Okay, because directly if you put n is equal to 0, n is equal to 1, 2, so on, this will give you a big expression. So first, you will simplify it. If you don't simplify it, it will be very difficult. Question. So first, we're going to simplify i of n, i of n plus 1, plus i of n into i of n plus 3, plus i of n plus 1, multiplied by i of n plus 2 plus i of n plus 2 and i of n plus 3. Now the problem is, the problem you face karo ye, directly aap put karo ye values here. As you can see, the difference between index is 1. Here the difference between index is 2. Again, difference between index is 1 and difference between index is 2. So, if you calculate reduction formula calculate karo ye for i of n, the values will be i of n and i of n minus 2. But that means the difference will be 2. And what you are getting here is difference between 1 and difference between 2. So these two terms I think you can calculate here. May maybe you can calculate this term. But dif difficulty will come here. Because calculating i of n and i of n plus 1 will be difficult. First we are going to simplify this. And then we are going to think about what we need to calculate. So in the first starting two terms I am going to take i of n common. If you take i of n common you will get this as i of n plus 1 plus i of n plus 3. Now plus in the starting uh, next two terms, I'm going to take uh, as you can see i of n plus 2 common and then you will get this inside as i of n plus 1 plus i of n plus 3. Now I think you can take this common term and you will get this as i of n plus 1 then i of n plus 3 plus sorry into times i of n plus i of n plus 2. That means we need to calculate the summation. I have written this expression as this, where n is varying from 0 to n. And later on we will take the limit. Now as you can see the difference between indexes is 2. And here the difference between indexes is 2. Now we can easily calculate. Now I am going to calculate the reduction formula. Once I calculate this, I am going to substitute the value. Then I am going to calculate the limit. Now I am going to calculate the reduction formula for i of n. And i of n, I can write this as integration 0 to pi by 4. So I'm going to split this into two terms and I'm going to split like this 10 of x whole is to power n minus 2 and then 10 square of x. That 10 square of x I'm going to write this as secant square x minus 1 and d of x. The reason is why I'm splitting this in the difference of 2 because here we want the index difference between 2 and immediately as you can see we'll get it. So i of n as you can see 10 of x derivative is secant square so I can treat 10 of x as x only. Okay the integration of 10 of x this to power n minus 2 will be n minus 1 upon n minus 1. The lower limit will be 0, upper limit is pi by 4 minus. You will see here if I multiply 10 of x raised to power n minus 2 with 1 and integrate 0 to pi by 4 with index n, 10 of x raised to power n is coming. With, so with index n minus 2 here, the power n minus 2 index will come as i of n minus 2 here. So from here, if you calculate, uh, we will get here i of i of n plus i of n minus 2 will be equal to put pi by 4 if you put pi by 4 you will get this as 1 upon n minus 1 now if you put 0 here 10 of 0 will be 0 0 into anything is 0 so we got this now we want to calculate n plus 1 and n plus 3 and n and n plus 2 to convert this relation into i of n and i of n plus 1 or n plus 2 here i am going to replace here n by n plus 2 the moment you replace you will get this as i of n plus 2 plus i of n is equal to 1 by n plus 1. So this is the first relation we got. This will be equal to 1 upon n plus 1. Now in the next relation what I am going to do is I am going to replace here in the next one n by n plus 1. So we will get this as i of n plus 3 plus i of n plus 1 as 1 upon n plus 2. So this is also 1 upon n plus 2. Now I am going to substitute in the summation and I am going to calculate the limit. 
सो प्रीवियसली मैंने सीरीज को कन्वर्ट किया था आई ओ फेन प्लस आई ओ फेन प्लस टू इन टू आई ओ फेन प्लस वन एंड आई ओ फेन प्लस थ्री द रीजन मैंने बताया था कि जो इंडेक्स का डिफरेंस है टू टू आ रहा है एंड हियर द इंडेक्स डिफरेंस इज ऑल्सो टू सो इट इज ईजी फॉर अस टू कैलकुलेट यूजिंग द रिडक्शन फॉर्मुला क्योंकि उसमें डिफरेंस जो इंडेक्स आ रहा था वो टू का ही आ रहा था नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यू हियर यू विल गेट दिस एज समेश ऑफ दिस एन प्लस वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन अपॉन एन प्लस टू और हियर एन वॉज वेरिंग फ्रॉम जीरो टू एन हियर ना इफ यू ऑब्जर्व एक चीज नोट करूंगे यहाँ पे द डिफरेंस ऑफ एन प्लस वन एंड एन प्लस टू द एब्सोलूट डिफरेंस इज वन एंड आई कैन मेक दिस एज अ टेलीस्कोपिक सीरीज ओके सो आई कैन राइट दिस एज वन अपॉन एन प्लस वन माइनस वन अपॉन एन प्लस टू हियर वेर एन इज वेरिंग फ्रॉम जीरो टू एन सो आई स्टार्ट पुटिंग द वैल्यूज यू विल सी अट नाइस टेलीस्कोपिक सीरीज विल कम हियर सो इफ यू पुट एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो हियो यू विल गेट दिस एज वन अपॉन वन माइनस वन बाय टू If you put n is equal to one here, you'll get one by. Uh, you can say here two, and then minus one by three, and so on. N is equal to two until n is equal to n here. So if you put n is equal to n is equal to n, you'll get this as one upon n plus one minus one upon n plus two here. Now, if you take this, alternate cancellation are possible here like this. So first of first and last of last term will remain. So the summation value will be equal to here. The summation value will be Equal to one uh, minus one by n plus two. I got here. That is the summation value. Now all we have to do is find the limit value. So they are asking limit n is tending towards infinity hundred times s of n. S of n just now we have calculated. This is s of n only, you know. So s of n will be equal to one upon one minus one by n plus two. Now the moment you take limit n is tending towards infinity, this term will be zero. So our final answer will be hundred. and that will be all